keep growing. And keep building. And together, keep, keep, keep adventuring. adventuring. All right, we went to Nakalula Falls, and I tell you what, this was a an incredible trip. We really, really had a great time. So much so, I had to go back to work just so I could sit down and recover. <laughs> From the moment we got there and we started setting up, it was go, go, go. And then the next morning we got up, we ate breakfast, and it was go, go, go. Well, whenever we got there, we, we uh, checked the bathrooms out because it's really important. Whenever, she checked the bathrooms out because yeah. it's really important. It's important not just to me, but a, a lot of women. It's important. And teardrop to, campers. Yeah. Because you generally it's use important those. It's important to a lot of women anywhere, not just teardrop campers. Yeah. A lot of women. I would say more so to the teardrop community because they have to use those facilities. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So um, we checked out the bathrooms and the showers, and those are phenomenal. I mean, there's one set that are um, completely redone. They're brand new, and they were so clean, and, and just, it was beautiful. And mm -hmm. then the other set, they're a little bit older. They haven't um, remodeled them. They're not up to date in them remodeling, but they're spotless. They're Absolutely clean. Absolutely spotless. So they're, and, they're uh, there cleaning every yeah. day. So check out these clips of the bathrooms that we're showing you. Um, I was really impressed. The The guy that was in the men's bathroom cleaning, um, I saw him on two different occasions and he was like behind the toilets on the floor. He was scrubbing it, mm -hmm. had his headphones on. He was listening <laughs> to some music. And I stopped to tell him, I was like, you're doing a great job. And I was totally impressed with how clean everything was. Um, now, outside of the, how clean everything was, the staff... Um, they're so nice. Lori and Julie, they're so nice, so friendly. So uh, yeah. so easy to get along with. Really a joy mm -hmm. from the moment we got there. You know, there were a couple of people behind us waiting, but she took the moments to ensure that we knew everything there was mm -hmm. to make sure that we had a good experience. Oh, and also there's a code to get in the bathroom. So... You know, you feel a little bit safer in there taking a shower and, um, you know, using the bathroom because not anybody can get in the bathroom, so. Yeah, I, it's the first ones I've been to that's had a code, mm -hmm. but that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now, it was Saturday. We got up. We had eggs on a scottle, mm -hmm. and then we vent, sat out on our venture, and the first thing we did was go down to the trails on our e-bikes and we just kind of explored the trails. And there's a lot of trails. There's many different trails. Yeah, and Miss Lori, when we got there, she broke out a different map than mm -hmm. the little flyer that they give you. Yeah. And uh, there were so many trails, bike trails, hiking trails, and uh, you could spend several days just on the trails mm -hmm. alone. Yeah. Now, I would recommend an off-road type bike. Michelle has a, a street style um, it's like a beach cruiser. Cruiser. Mm -hmm. And so it's not built for the rough terrain. But if you White have a, wall tires. You know. <laughs> but if you had a mountain bike and you could really explore mm -hmm. those off-road trails. So we're looking to upgrade my tires. <laughs> <laughs> and we're definitely going back up there and explore around those trails. Right. Now, one of the things we do, there's another side of the park. Once you cross over the, 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 our, the bridge of the creek where the falls are, mm -hmm. the creek. go on to the other side of the park. Yeah, it's a suspension bridge, too.
Now, when you get over there, you can actually go into the old Pioneer settlement that's there. I think general admission is $4 a ticket and they offer some discount, so you can look and see if a discount applies to you. But uh, they didn't have any of the trains running because they're looking to, to buy new trains. Mm, they're in the process of upgrading their trains. They had a petting zoo. Which, there was like this little pioneer village. Yeah. That was so neat. And they had like a, an old chicken coop. Every homesteader knows you got to build a chicken, ho chicken house that is built like Fort Knox. <laughs> Gotta build a chicken hawk. The uh, old spring house. Yeah, they had a spring coming right up out of the ground so you can go in. And... A blacksmith, a little general store with a cafe. Yeah. There was a, um, a house. Well, these were all buildings that were brought, moved, that moved were there. there to make this little pioneer village. And there was a cooking house that was set up with this gorgeous, huge fireplace. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just really neat. It's kind of like you feel like you step back in time. And then there's an old covered bridge that was put in there over a, a yep. koi pond. And a small, um, what do you call that, garden? Oh, but like a little botanical garden. Now the botanical garden part hadn't bloomed out yet, mm -hmm. but it was well on its way. We saw some of the bushes uh, blood budding up, getting so ready to So we didn't get any out. footage of that, but we did of the petting zoo. There was... Um, it wasn't much petting going on, but you got to see a, a bunch of the animals, like a deer. You could pet the deer. A deer, a llama, a llama goat, sheep, ostrich, or an emu, or something mm -hmm. like that. And they had raccoons and chickens and stuff. And that was about the extent of the little petting zoo area, but it was very well yeah. kept. Mm -hmm. um, nice and clean. Yeah, nice. Everyone was friendly. Yep. So from that side of the park, you can go down this little concrete uh, entryway down into the caverns. And you can go down to the falls, which is probably about a quarter mile hike. It's mm -hmm. not that far. And if you go that route, that's a pretty easy walk. Right. And then you can get down to the falls. Now, once you, there's an opportunity to go behind the falls. And uh, there's a lot of rocks, a lot of slippery mud, a lot of foot traffic through there. So you, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend that uh, elder people try to go behind the falls. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I wouldn't really recommend going the other way either. That was really rough. That over the suspension the bridge. The suspension bridge, yeah. That was a, like someone a little bit more advanced in hiking to go over that because to get down there, you had to really... I saw some middle-aged people and they were really trying to catch their breath. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it's kind of similar to hiking the Appalachian Trail. Get ready for it. You know, yeah. There's some steep rocks going up and down. But it's beautiful. absolutely beautiful scenery. Mm -hmm. If Beautiful. you are in good enough shape to do any kind of little <laughs> moderate hiking, I highly recommend going to check out those yeah, trails. You could probably do the part that that's in the park if you could do moderate hiking and go down because that's just a mile. And they have concrete that's pretty steep that you can walk on. And then once you get down there, past the concrete, everything's pretty, pretty easy. It's a little slippery, but... You know. But we had a really good t uh, visit because the, the falls were really gushing over. Mm -hmm. And so you really got a full, we really got a full experience while we were there. And I've seen pictures other people have posted and the falls were almost to a trickle during a dry season. So if you go during a dry season, I wouldn't expect much. Right, make sure that it's just rain really good before you go. Then you're definitely going to be wowed with the falls. Yeah. So. In my personal opinion, on a scale of 1 to 5, this park was definitely a 4.8. I would rate huh. it pretty high. On my opinion, it was a 10. So On a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 10. 1 to 10, it was a 10. The only drawbacks is, if you are not friendly with your neighbors, they are right outside your door. But there's so much to do, you are really not You don't there. have to be at your camp. Only to eat and to sleep. And then, you know, during the day, you're off doing stuff. There's just... There's rail trails that are in the area that you can go, you know, load your bikes up and go and get on a rail trail and actually ride. We're going to do that on probably one of our next There's visits. so much to do. There, we didn't even go on all the hiking trails, so we want to go back. We have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, but if you're the one to, to pull in there and sit in your camper or sit out just outside your camper and never explore outside, <clears throat> it might be a little tight yeah. for you. You're probably not going to enjoy it because, um, yeah... The, there's not a lot of room, but there's trees, so there's plenty of shade. Now, yeah. if you're with a group and it's just your group that you're you're immediately surrounded with, 
I think is a great opportunity because yes. you're really intimate with the people that are right mm -hmm. next to you. So, And there's a couple of different meeting <clears throat> halls and they had a wedding while we were there and, and I could understand, chapel. I could understand why, but there was a wet, you know, I guess they had a wedding in the chapel that's right mm -hmm. there at the falls. And then they came over and had the reception right there on the campground. Yeah, so it, it's very beautiful setting. Yeah. There's a media center. There's a laundry mat. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, Everyone was friendly. We, we saw people there that were actually friends of people that we're friends with. So <laughs> And friends of friends. Friends of friends. So. All right. So on to the next little thing that we want to talk about. We saw some teardroppers while we were there. Mm -hmm. Some uh, custom built, home built, and some, uh, some um, store bought campers. There was a Shasta there. All right. So wow. yeah, that little Shasta. Yeah man and uh <laughs> leonard and jane they so check out awesome. their shasta and yeah. we're going to give you a little clip all right we were coming through the gates of Nakalula falls and the first thing you see is this pretty little shasta that's been totally remade it's so perfect that i thought it was brand new that shasta had re-released a brand new trailer this is leonard leonard and jane are, are the owners of this uh beautiful little camper well let's uh let's take a look inside real quick okay How long have you had it redone for? We've been using it for about five years. Since 2014. Wow, so for five years this thing has been on the road and used. It looks phenomenal. It looks just like it came out of the shop. The, uh, the, uh, uh, the panning and stuff, Jane wanted to go back as original as we could. And I, you're probably not old enough to know that old, them old campers, they had an old orange paneling type in them. Oh yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Yes, it has a. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. You see, it had a commode. That's all it does. Just a commode. And then that's your. Uh... That's, that's all my electrical and okay. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nice. This, um, the, the, the turquoise and the white is uh, 1957 Chevrolet. All right, well. We absolutely love the build, and we hope you get a lot of use out of it. We get, we get Thank you for you. We get to, uh, you know, people, and it makes people smile. Yeah, yeah. It makes people smile, you know, and they say, like you camp or something. And, uh, well, thank you for taking the time and uh, showing us you sort of around welcome. your camper. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss Jane. And see you. And, come down uh, and see absolutely you. wonderful. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed visiting with them, too. Leonard really likes to talk, and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed mm -hmm. talking with Leonard and getting to know Leonard a little bit. Right. And I hope to uh, to meet him again someday. And, and then there was Isaac. He had his homemade camper. He was right next to us. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a little clip of him coming up real soon. It was a pop-up. It was a pop-up that mm -hmm. um, that he had put a little bit of money into and kind of did a little DIY himself so, on. Yesterday, we're parked right here next door to Mr. Isaac. And Isaac backs his trailer in. I was like, look at that. That's a DIY. Let's go over there and check that out. And Michelle could see through his window at the nice spice rack that he has. Now, this is our first time walking up and talking to Isaac about his camper, so we're going to do a, a full tour real, real quick. Tell us a little bit about how you came about of, uh, of doing this. What, what inspired you to... Uh, my uncle gave me the camper and he said, do what you want to with it. So I, I had the wood and all already. Uh, so I just started building the walls, built the slide. Uh, and that's, that's basically all I did on the outside. A lot of people are using pop-up campers to build their DIY campers out of. And uh, I'm curious to see how you've built the inside of this. Yeah, so we'll go inside here. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, this is so huge. That's the slide, so I slide it in while wow. I'm traveling. Yeah, for your closet. Uh-huh. And that's then great. this is my bed. Uh, I lay, uh, this stays down most of the time, yeah. but we were sitting in it this morning, but so, I, I leave it down most of the time. Just a question, you have plywood that you bring across. And yes, it's these it... plywood boards okay. right here. Okay. And uh, they lay across. And you make one? Like this. Oh yeah, okay. I have, uh, have these cushions. Yeah. 
that lay like that. Yep. And then I have a piece of foam that lays on top of that. I got gotcha. you. And then you sleep sideways? Yes, I sleep this way. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right, let me get behind me. Man, you wow. got a full kitchen in here. Yep. Yeah. Hot plate, refrigerator, microwave, got a yep. TV right here in the corner. So it's That's awesome. She saw the spice rack through the window, so yeah. there's the spice <laughs> rack. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it. I yep. said I ain't got but maybe five hundred dollars in it. Oh, that's great. So, wow. Yeah. And now you can get the most out. The expensive part was the metal and the windows. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then I've done a few things here and there. Well, great job. I'm impressed. Let's check out the outside. All right. And that's just a regular pop-up camper awning. Like they come on okay. the pop-up, so yep. it, it rolls up in the bag. And then my bucket light. All right. <laughs> I have that's it up great. at night. Yeah. But this is uh, not what you see in a lot of houses. Corrugated. Corrugated. Well, absolutely wonderful. Well, Isaac, I appreciate the, the yeah. little tour of your camper. You did a good With job. The vinyl siding. So yep. The little the DIY end, camper. A little DIY camper. We All right. See. We're still here at Nakalula Falls when we were going around and we noticed that Miss Monica here, her and her grandson brought their little DIY trailer up. And uh, we just kind of, she had the door open, she was inside, and we came up and we asked if we could take a little tour and uh, ask her about her camper. Now, uh, Miss Monica, you said that this is a DIY that your husband and who? My brother. And your brother built this? Mm -hmm. And your brother has since passed away. Right. So you just kind of come out here by yourself and just, uh, and just enjoy the camper? I do. That's great. Now, look at the inside of this camper, how nice she's got it. It's got full carpet on it. It's got some, was it day beds? It's a futon. Yeah, a futon in there. Very well. Uh, made out. I love how you have it set out. That's cute. So how long have you been camping in it? Uh, about a year. About a year about since a you've year. had it we finished? Started last summer. Oh wow, so it's pretty quick. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, well, appreciate you taking the time and uh, giving us a little tour. All right, You're thank welcome. you. There were others there that we also wanted to see, but we just couldn't seem to catch them at their camper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's so much to do. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody so, was there. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the clips of the... Uh, there was a black squirrel, too. It was pretty cool. Yeah, the black squirrels are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed the video tour of the campers, and I hope you enjoyed this little dialogue that we give you of our experience at the campground. If you like what we're doing, we invite you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like <laughs> button, and share on your social media. And stay tuned because we're going to be bringing you And remember, up. keep growing. And keep building. And, and always, always keep, keep adventuring. adventuring. Together, Together we're, we're Flemington famous. famous.